My name is Rich Pestein. I had a uh, lethal arrhythmia, they call it. Uh, most of us would call it a heart attack on June 18th, 2011. I'm Sherry Shane, and on January 30th, 2015, I suffered a massive stroke. I'm Sonny. Uh, I was playing basketball out here at Eastside Center for about an hour and a half on February 24th. As I left uh, the gym, I just kind of felt like I was having an issue, cardiac issue. I was running in the Steamboat Dave's race, and I was at about the 10K mark, and uh, the next instant I was sitting in a chair in a hospital room three days later. I had this strange feeling and so I stepped back and I looked up and as I looked up there were huge round jagged circles around all of the lights. I remember stumbling once and catching myself and, was, and there's all these people around. I remember feeling a little embarrassed if, and telling myself don't fall in front of all these people that would be really really embarrassing and, and stupid. And uh, there's the back, you know, some people have all kinds of different symptoms. Mine were the back spasms that's uh, in my back and in between the shoulder blades. But then there was a heaviness on my chest as well once I was laying down and it felt like an elephant sitting on my chest, to be honest with you. I was very fortunate that a, uh, a doctor was here, uh, an OBGYN and she took my vitals and called 911 and the uh, station three from East Peoria came up. First responders, you know, they gave me the four aspirin, they gave me two nitro, they uh, hooked me up and they, they were telling me that all the symptoms were heart attack related. In a very short amount of time, they did the necessary tests, they had me back in the room and fairly quickly, um, Dr. Dong came in and he administered the TPA shot, which took about an hour for it to actually alter what was changing in my body. And in that hour, I went from having no use on the left side of my body and not being able to see to being basically 100%. The guy behind me, who happened to be a nurse, a guy named Doug Pafkoff, and life uh, savior, uh, saw me down and gave me chest compressions. Uh, basically kept my brain alive until they got up the, the hill with the ambulance to uh, get my heart started. And it turned out I had a blocked LED. Dale Geist did bypass surgery on me and I survived and I'm still here today. They put in three stents with my Widowmaker heart attack. I, and uh, I could see the monitor and all that they were doing. And you could see the circulation returning to my heart. Uh, I had several that were 90%, and then one branch I think was 80%. But their goal is to do that within 90 minutes of arrival. They did it in 41 minutes. People that saw my picture of my you know, heart attack said I shouldn't be here. So that uh, work, uh, excellent work there, uh, was part of it, again, since I am a pastor, I believe it's miraculous as well. You know, no matter what happened that day, I knew I was in good hands. I certainly have CPR to thank for surviving the whole incident. That immediate response, immediate CPR was uh, absolutely vital to surviving the incident and to staying health and to being healthy after the incident. So I think you need to support an organization that promotes good uh, heart care and health. I'm looking forward to all of the, the new things that they can do to help that recovery. I was lucky enough, mine was an ischemic stroke, it was a blood clot, they could take care of it. But there are strokes that aren't as easily handled and, and I hope and pray they come to a solution for that also.